Good morning YouTube viewers and subscribers. So as you can see I do not have an engine on my stand at this time. That's because I just completed putting together static thrust stand version 3.0. Hopefully the last iteration of this. Now I did a, uh, an initial part one video of this showing you the components. Uh, now I'm going to show you the rest of the stand now that it's in a at least a testable state and some of the new things that are on here now also. So I'm going to take the handheld and I'm going to get a little bit closer shot of all of these things for you. Okay, so here's a shot of the new stand. Let me slide some of this stuff out of the way. Uh, one of the things I did upgrade is I bought another of the exact same scale. This one just happens to be black because I was afraid my yellow one was kind of flaking out on me. Uh, I left the hook on here, so now it's just a simple matter of just quickly hooking that up and it should be good to go. Um, so here are these linear slide rails. This screwdriver is actually my hold firm mechanism for when I'm not actually going to be doing static thrust or when I'm still setting things up. I still have my safety chain that I always have on here. Let me pull this screwdriver out and show you the motion. It seems really smooth to me. So here's kind of I know you can't feel that, but I can feel it. It feels a hell of a lot smoother than what uh, the other stand was. Now the other things I've got here is I've got a ball bearing and a socket that's going through the hole. And I've got my jug of, full jug of fuel, which I'm using as a calibration standard weight. And what I'm going to end up going and doing is I'm going to go weigh this on my, like, postal scale, just as a reference. Then I'm going to weigh it. Uh, with this scale holding it up with a string see if those two things uh, are anywhere close to being the same and then I'm gonna hook this up here and using this bearing I've got some a little piece of twine attached that I'm gonna try and run that twine right over this bearing so I have as friction free of surface as possible I'll have one camera sitting here watching this and another camera sitting here trying to fumble around and watch me try and calibrate this stand so let's see how <laughs> let's see how it goes okay so for part one of the calibration here I'm gonna weigh this gallon jug of fuel and I'm not saying this scale is calibrated by any means it's just the only other reference I have for uh, weighing things so I've got it set for pounds and I'm gonna be weighing in pounds so this is showing me that it's about seven point two four four pounds okay so now we're going to go and weigh this fuel with my new scale that I've got here for the okay so in this part I'm going to weigh this fuel bottle using the new scale here and we'll just kind of compare the results with my other scale so I'm going to do that and I'm going to hold it up until it locks I think it locked and it locked at 7. Point, I'm trying to get this right in the viewfinder here. 7.31 pounds. Let's do that one more time. Turn it off. Make sure it's zero. Make sure this bottle doesn't sway too much. 7.31 pounds again. So at least this thing is consistent with the way I'm trying to weigh this. Now let's put this back on the stand and see if we can get a calibration on the stand. Okay, so I've got my bearing and socket and my gallon of fuel here just kind of hung onto this stand. And I'm going to go turn that other camera on, turn my scale on, and you can sit here and try and watch me fumble around and see if we can get any kind of real calibration going here. Let's turn this on. Try like hell to keep this on the bearing. I'm going to hold it until I think that locks. Now I can't actually see my scale, so... Hopefully it locked, let's see. 7.58 pounds. Let's do this one more time, or another time anyway. Oh, 
holding it until I think it's locked. 7.58 pounds. Let's do it one more time. Okay, 7.58 pounds. Okay, so 7.58 pounds is what I was reading here. The scale, the postal scale, was weighing 7.24 pounds for this. And that scale, when just hung from it, it weighed 7.31 pounds, if, if I recall correctly. So we've got, you know, three-tenths of a pound difference there from what this says. Well, all of them read just slightly differently, so I didn't expect them to be dead on. But that's about the best I'm going to be able to do. Now, the next way to calibrate or at least verify it will be to run another engine that I've run in the past, same prop and uh, hopefully try and get the same RPM and then compare it from there. But otherwise, I think this thing is ready to go, it's ready for a test run, and I think it's much more friction free than uh, the previous stand, so let's see how she does. Okay, so the entire time I was just doing our static thrust video here, I had these guys here. Just sitting here, well the birds would fly away, but the squirrels they really just don't give a crap what I do out here. In fact, one of these ones is probably one of the ones that was sitting here a week or so ago while I was running a big engine. Actually, I think that was a smaller one. These two look like they're full grown. But anyway, I guess these squirrels are quite accustomed to me because here I've been walking back and forth, carrying equipment back and forth to this area right here. This spot right here, and this is where they've been the whole time. Right there. So, anyway, that's kind of cool, I guess. Boy, there's a ton of J's there now.